do you vaccinate your cats? Last year, our cat Morpheus reacted badly to his vaccine. He didn't move for the first 12 hours after and was unwell for over a week. He is three years old now, and we're considering not giving the vaccine this year. Any advice? Thanks for keeping us sane. Love the book from Plymouth, England. Um, I will say, I will say this. Yep. Um, we have always uh, given full, um, full recommended annual vaccinations to all of our animals, and we've had many over the years. And as you guys know, we have you know now one dog and two cats. Uh, early this last summer, I think it was, or maybe in the spring, I took Tesla, our black cat, to a holistic vet uh, because he was doing a lot of vocalizing without any obvious sign of pain. And the uh, the normal vet uh, that I had taken him to proved, um, you know, proved just very typical in like wanting to give him drugs and then more drugs to deal with the effects of the first drugs that weren't the desired effects. And I was like, I'm not, I don't do that for me. I'm not doing it for my cat. So I took him to this holistic vet. And um, he didn't know me and I didn't know him. Uh, but one of the things he said to me was, in addition to, you know, try a raw diet, um, this, this often cures um, some sort of ongoing uh, pain that animals have. And the only way they know how to talk, the only, only way they know how to communicate it is by yelling about it. Um, but I said something about, wow, you know, I really like the way you've engaged me and how you've, uh, you know, allowed for me to have an evolutionary perspective on what this animal is and, you know, and, and, and how we value him and such. Um, I'd love to bring my other animals in and, you know, maybe have you take over things like annual vaccinations. And he said, do you, and this was again, um, I think this was, maybe it was actually, I think it was before um, the COVID vaccinations were out. I think it was summer of 2020. He said, do you take annual vaccinations for for your for the things that you're vaccinated against? And I was like, well, you know, there's the flu vaccination, um, which is an annual thing, but um, nothing else. No, he's like, yeah, um, and all the stuff we vaccinate our animals against. These aren't supposed to be annual vaccinations. They should be um, kind of one and done. And maybe after some number of years, you should check the titers, which I'm happy to do. But I have um, only very, very rarely checked uh, the titers of animals that have come in ready for their so-called annual, or we've skipped several years, and now let's see if the titers are low enough to warrant another vaccination, and found that those animals did, in fact, need vaccinations. He said, basically, especially at that point, um, Tesla would have been nine, um, and and the younger guys too, Fairfax and then Moxie, um, he said, you know, the older they are, the more they've got behind them, the less likely they are to ever need any vaccinations again. Um, so I would find a vet who can talk to you that way and who's willing to check the titers um, for the vaccinations um, that he's had. And especially if he had a bad reaction, there's a good chance that um, the annual vaccination plan for the animals is simply um, about making money rather than good for the animals. Yeah, I would add to this. Um, I think there's a difference between vaccinations for something like rabies, where there's a genuine threat that we mm -hmm. collectively have to keep in check, yep. and a place where we have a kind of market failure. And the idea is, obviously, you're not being left with a choice about whether to get a COVID vaccine, right? And yet, what we've got is a for-profit corporation that is tapped into a governmental mandate that may or may not make any sense medically or epidemiologically. Mm -hmm. And so how, you know, how is the market exactly to navigate this? Um, and in the case of veterinary stuff, you have, it's very hard for a non-expert to stare down a veterinarian that says, oh, yes, your animal is due for his blah, blah, blah vaccination. And so the point is- Just the annual physical. Right. That's so what the, we all get. The question is, if, if I just described the system to you and told you nothing about how many vaccines were recommended for these animals, and you had these for-profit corporations producing a product that for which there may or may not be a need, for which the regularity of that need is known to the people who make the thing and not to you as a consumer. And there is some system of, there's the possibility of some system of incentives to get your veterinarian just to look at you like you are a responsible pet owner and it's only blank dollars. And mm -hmm. surely you're going to vaccinate your pet against this disease, right? And the point is most people just don't have the basis to even say, what are the chances that I'm being advised to do this for market reasons rather than medical reasons, and what are the downsides, right? right? 
Again, especially if you've got an animal that has, of which you saw the downsides, right, right, and has now received. I mean, there are, I don't remember what three, four, five recommended, usually recommended annual vaccines for cats, and um, and if you, you know, if you've seen the cat respond badly, yeah. um, then um, there's a good chance that he's that he's have his blood have his blood titers checked. So yeah. um, to to wrap this up, I would just say. This is a recipe for toxic medical advice that vaccines are an amazing tool. The idea that more is better can't possibly be right, yeah. right? There's a point at which more is worse. And so the question is, given this amazing medical technology that is vaccination, what is the ideal level if what you were trying to maximize is medical and epidemiological well-being? How many things would we be vaccinating against and how many things wouldn't we vaccinate against and at what rate, mm -hmm. right? And um, so the suspicion is that we ought to be vaccinating very carefully and that in fact what we are doing is we are uh, we're vaccine drunk and vaccinating yep for reasons that have nothing to do with medicine or epidemiology. And uh, we as consumers need, we as citizens need to figure out how we've been misled and in what way we might correct this policy. Yep.